This is Bruce Jansen with the Global Medical News Network in New Orleans at the annual meeting of the American Academy of Dermatology where I'm speaking with Dr. Ken Gordon at the University of Chicago who's got a new analysis uh, that sheds some additional light on the issue of cardiovascular risk associated with the potent psoriasis biologic ustekinumab. Uh, tell us about what you found. Well, the data that's presented at this meeting is a meta-analysis of multiple trials uh, related to ustekinumab in development, uh, both phase two and phase three trial. And we were doing analyses of MACE events, major adverse cardiac events associated with use of the drug in the clinical trials. Uh, there are a couple different levels of analysis that have been done. Um, first, there are about five events that have happened in the early placebo control period. Um, and then we compared that also um, to what has happened over the long term as these trials continue up to three years of data now. In the shorter term, in the placebo control period, you see a slightly increased relative risk uh, related to uh, the placebo. Uh, however, this doesn't approach statistical significance. It's important to remember, however, the trials were not powered to be able to um, look at rare events like cardiovascular disease. Um, so in that, on that level, um, these trials don't give us definitive statistical information on that, and there seems to be a slightly increased risk over the initial period of the study. As the study goes out, um, what we're finding is fewer events over time. Uh, there could be many reasons for that, and our hope is that um, as we get more information, as longer-term data uh, becomes available, and as we study more patients who are being started with this medication in terms of early treatment in databases like the Solar Registry that we're working on with ustekinumab and other drugs as well, we'll be able to have more definitive information on whatever risk we might have uh, with ustekinumab and cardiac disease. So at this point, there is still a cardiovascular signal but it seems weaker than in the uh, short-term study? Most of the events um, took place in early development in the phase two trials. There have been fewer over time. Now, smaller doses of drug were also used in that period of time, and that might be a relationship as well. Um, so as we have started more patients, there seem to be fewer events. Um, we need to take the entire body of data, however, before we can uh, pass judgment. And so while the data seems to be more comforting over time, um, I don't think we can be definitive that um, there is not any signal. There seems to be some signal that we still have to evaluate further. And what would be the putative mechanism of increased risk given that it's, uh, that it's, it's a drug that's shutting down emphatically inflammatory pathways? Um, as you said, people with psoriasis are at increase for heart disease. And as we've looked at other medications, be it a small publication on methotrexate or a poster at this meeting uh, looking at anti-TNF agents, um, most of those agents that are anti-inflammatory seem to decrease the overall risk of heart disease. Uh, we don't have a good mechanism. The science is not mature enough on this medication and what happens with interleukin-12 and 23. Um, so we don't have a real good explanation um, as to why th events would happen Early events tend to uh, relate more to thrombotic events, but that's pure speculation. Mm. Okay. So uh, what kind of time frame do you expect to see more definitive answers? Oh, again, the, the data set we're most hoping to be able to give us further answers is the solar registry, which hopefully the next year or two will have enough power to be able to really look at cardiac disease um, and be able to show what happens as more and more patients uh, are started on the medication. Um, I think this is something that's going to have to be followed very closely by investigators, by the FDA, um, and by uh, the company who makes ustekinumab. Um, but I think it's just further experience for this new medication um, and further data collection with things like registry that will be helpful in, in us being feeling more comfortable with the, the information we have. Well, that's it from New Orleans, uh, from Bruce Jansen and the Global Medical News Network.